Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and it has been confirmed by many that if you're still stuck on 23H2 on your computer, which you can check with the Windows version command, WinVer, uh, you should be technically at least at 24H2 at this point. Um, if you are still at 23H2, and I know some have intentionally kept their machines at 23H2. Um, a lot of people have been reporting that the Patch Tuesday update of September installed an extra update. Uh, so with the Patch Tuesday update that you get usually, you might see on 23H2 that it also, uh, if you look at your update history or if you look at the installs, gets an extra KB um, version, and then another update and that update once there actually as soon as you start or restart your pc pushes you automatically to 24h2 so um, more and more people are saying that they have been pushed to 24h2 without asking for it uh, the reason for microsoft to do this is very simple uh, 23h2 is arriving at end of support within the next couple of months which means that moving to 24H2 at least is the minimum that Microsoft wants you to be. Of course, um, some of you are a little mad because you've been thinking that, well, I want to keep 23H2 until 25H2 is official and jump over 24H2. So um, I don't think you have to really do that. Uh, 24H2 at this stage is now... Uh, pretty stable, not really much complaint anymore. Uh, and most of the blockers that ha appeared over the last year uh, is pretty much, are almost all fixed. So um, you, you know, just wait and um, you might get 25 H2 anyways. But I do get uh, frustration from those that uh, maybe wanted just to jump directly to 25 H2 and finally got 24 H2 without asking. Uh, this is the way Microsoft works. When you get to the end of support of a Windows version, you're automatically pushed to the next um, as uh, Microsoft doesn't want you to be outdated without any security updates. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.